Well, a House GOP split appears to be emerging, as many conservatives say they're not going to sign on to any legislation that provides some kind of amnesty to millions who are here illegally at a time when millions more American citizens are under or unemployed. Joining us now to discuss whether there is any common ground, Republican Congressman Mo Brooks of Alabama and his GOP colleague Jeff Denham of California. Gentlemen, welcome to you both. Good to have you here. Thanks, Thanks for having us. All right, I want to go back to this recent Quinnipiac poll, which asked folks what do they think should be the 2014 legislative priorities for the president, for Congress. They listed a number of options for people, the economy, deficit, health care, taxes, gun policy, immigration, and something else. Something else ranked higher than immigration. So when a lot of analysts would say the GOP should just stick to hammering health care, Congressman Denham, why the push for immigration now? Well, first of all, I think that we need to be working on a variety of different issues that contribute to the greatness of America. Immigration is not only one of those issues, but immigration touches almost every single one of those other issues that you named, including uh, the economy and this amount of debt. One trillion dollars over the next two decades would be contributed to our economy through immigration reform. Let's get uh, undocumented people off of food stamps, off of welfare, and actually paying uh, their fair share, paying back taxes, paying fees, um, and working towards being legal. Uh, Congressman Brooks, we have, of course, the sort of uh, outline of what House GOP leadership uh, unveiled after your conference, your getaway, uh, over the last few days. What do you like? What don't you like? Well, I don't think we should be addressing it right now because, quite frankly, the cause of this illegal immigration problem is the President of the United States. If the President of the United States would enforce the laws that we have on the books, instead of promoting lawlessness, which is what Barack Obama does, then there would be no immigration problem today that we would have to address. This president's going to be in office for at least another three years. As a consequence, whatever we do, in my judgment, that is constructive, he will ignore, and the bad parts will be what he promotes. So I'm one of those who believes that it's counterproductive at this point to try to promote the kind of amnesty that the House leadership wants to promote. And Congressman, to that point, there are people who have lost a lot of trust in the White House and enforcement of these things. You mentioned, uh, Congressman Brooks, the laws that are already on the books. A lot of folks look back to 1986 as well when President Reagan was in charge. And people then felt the promises they were getting there, there about beefing up border security and all those kinds of things didn't come to fruition. Um, Senator Grassley has talked about the fact that he regrets voting for that. And what he found was that making things easier for those who were here illegally didn't stop the problem. It attracted more people to come illegally. Well, I, I think as Republicans, we all agree that we have to secure our border first. And we need to do it in such a way that we don't just have goals. We actually have measurements and metrics to guarantee to the American public that uh, we actually did secure the border. But we also have an 11 million um, undocumented problem that uh, creates public safety issues, creates a, a number of different issues uh, across a, a wide variety of, of spectrum here. And, you know, some of the simple things that I think we have to come to agreement on is the kids that have been brought here to no fault of their own, um, you know, one of the bills that I have is to allow them to serve in the military. We've had 660,000 uh, men and women serve in the military as immigrants that gain their citizenship through that process. We can find ways to come to an agreement to resolve this problem, but doing nothing is amnesty. And both parties have failed that over the previous administrations. It's a 30-year, multi-generational problem that's got to get fixed. Congressman Brooks, can you be convinced uh, with the checks, the balances, the measures, the triggers about border security is there something that you could sign on to that would convince you and convince the American people uh, that those things would happen along with the rest of the bill or this bills? President Barack Obama has such an established track record of ignoring the law or violating the law. For example, when he's giving work permits to illegal aliens in direct contradiction of federal statutes, that's a problem. And so there's nothing that can be done over the next three years that I think is going to address the problem of the White House refusing to obey the laws of the United States of America, refusing to obey his oath of office and the take care clause of the Constitution where he's supposed to enforce our laws. But let me address the economics just for a second. There is compassion for illegal aliens, and I understand that compassion. But my compassion is for American families, hardworking American families, who because of this huge influx of illegal alien labor have lost jobs and have had their wages suppressed. Now, Jeff respectfully talks about there being an increase in the GDP. That's true. But what's important is gross domestic product per capita. That's the standard of living of Americans, and it goes down when you increase the number of illegal aliens in our country. And so from an economic standpoint, 
I cannot in good conscience support anything that's going to cost American jobs, it's going to lower the wages of American families, roughly $2,000 per year on average. That's not the direction I want to go. I was elected to represent American citizens, and I'm also helpful to lawful immigrants. But illegal immigrants, well, if you want more of them, go ahead and give them amnesty and reward those who are here. I wish we had more time, because I think that the two of you could continue debating here. I'm not sure that we would resolve this, um, but we'll watch to see how it is resolved, uh, inter-party and intra-party. Thank you both for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. It. Thanks for having us.